Michael Norman, also known as Thorman Norman, Automation Controls Engineer with Scott Equipment Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I have this guy with me, Dan Jacobs with Precise Automation. Welcome, dude. Hey, pleasure to be here. Glad, glad you can make it in, man. Sorry. Right. Thanks. Hey, uh, with all the robots going on in the world today, and we know there's a ton of them out there, mm -hmm. um, what sets Precise Automation scare a robot apart from the six axis robots that people are accustomed to seeing in the industry today? Well, that's a great question. And I actually get to ask this all the time, right? right. You can imagine. Um, but traditional six axis robots are pictured here on the, the right. And then our scare design is uh, basically down there at the left. Now, what's different about our scare, which is collaborative and then industrial uh, scare designs are the Z stroke, which is traditionally out in the front Correct. of a, of a normal scare. And yes. that is only 200 millimeters to right. 20 maximum. Mm -hmm. Okay. But as you can see in the column here, we have, um, we have the ability to have 400 millimeters, 750 or 1160 millimeters. So you get a lot more of Z stroke. Of Z stroke. Exactly. So what that creates for us is what we call a, uh, cylindrical working envelope, Correct. okay? And the six axis has a spherical working envelope. Mm -hmm. So as you can see right here in the picture, um, what does that mean? Well, basically for a six axis robot, it's gonna have trouble reaching items at the top of the, top the, the area to pick. to pick. And it's gonna have problems at the bottom, okay? Correct. But if you can look at, at our setup here, we actually have uh, the same, uh, uh, exactly. reach at the top and the bottom. Now we're showing in the, in the video here how easy it is to even increase on that and uh, plug in a linear axis. So uh, just plug and play and then tell the, the robot that it has this axis. But you can see that it has the ability to go same reach up and down and then uh, it can be up to two meters of uh, rail travel uh, so it really creates that uh, cylindrical working envelope that a six axis couldn't even uh, compete against. And that really, I think, is one of our key uh, uh, value propositions that we bring to the table. So I can see where the Z stroke would definitely set yourself apart. Absolutely. Absolutely. Being able to go higher and lower. Right. It also adds to the uh, compact uh, footprint. You can see here it's about 50 percent of what a traditional uh, six axis would have. Since it can kind of work well within that, that skinny area, that's, that's a big, also a big savings for manufacturers that floor space is a, is a commodity, uh, value commodity. So, Absolutely, floor space gets really yeah. expensive. So actually going with a precise collaborative robot would save floor space as well. And factories out there today are looking for that lean environment. And Absolutely. the more floor space you have, yeah. the more room you have for manufacturing. Absolutely. All right, awesome, dude. Hey, Appreciate you coming by today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Again, Michael Norman, also known as Thorman Norman, with Scott Equipment Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. Feel free to give me a call or us a call about any of your collaborative robot needs.